Today's two minute takeaway is all about single touch payroll and payroll year end. I'm Hilary O'Dwyer, founder of Titian Consulting, your virtual CFO. So today, we're going to talk about single touch payroll, as I said. On the 30th of June, which was Wednesday, I got my very first email from someone saying, when am I going to get my income statement? And after gritting my teeth, I politely responded and said, by the 14th of July, you will receive that. So income statements used to be called payment summaries and before that these to be called group certs. So this is essentially a summary of everything that your employees have earned during the year, the tax they've paid on it and the super they've earned and they need that for their income tax returns. But what we need to make sure from, a, from an accounting point of view and an, an employer point of view is that the system has done everything properly. So before this is run and finalized for people we need to perform a few checks and balances to make sure that everything's okay. So the kind of thing that we're going to be looking at will be, number one, the, the PAYG control account, the super payable account, the expense account, and the wages payable account. And they all need to match the payroll activity summary. Now, assuming that they all do, you're good to go. If they don't match, and these are reconciliations that normally your, your bookkeeper or, or accountant will be performing for you during the year, they'll need to be tidied up and there'll be a little bit of um, maybe unscheduled payrolls processed to get things to where they should be or unwound to reflect what was actually paid to staff. Once they're all done, it is also worthwhile double checking that all the payment types on that match to the, the BAS statement like under W1 or allowances or things like that are all accurately reflected in the income statements. Now this is normally done during payroll setup so if everything's been set up correctly in the first place it's no dramas but if it isn't you do need to just double check it. So then what happens is we get to finalise the payroll for the year end which if you use zero it's really straightforward through single touch payroll and off it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. You send it to the ATO and then the ATO then double check that and check with what they received all during the year. And then they finalize it and it is sent to the employee's MyGov accounts. We don't issue paper statements anymore. We don't email them electronically. They are simply fed through to the MyGov account. So if someone asks you, where is it? You can simply say it's in your MyGov account. Off you go and do your tax return. So the key thing is, is it should all be okay in the system, but it does have to be done by the 14th of July. And if anyone is hassling you, Ask them to take a chill pill. Hope that's helpful. See you next time.